All right, so the aim of this video is to give an overview of each section of the area of study exam, which is known as paper one. Before I begin, I wanna talk about why it's important to know these sections before you go into the exam. Well, practice makes perfect. The more comfortable you are with the exam and the more you practice it before the exam date, the less stress you'll be, the more you'll be able to maximize your time and the more likely you will be able to succeed in the exam. And it all begins with knowing what's in the exam and that's what this video is going to cover. So what is in the exam? Well, there are three sections to the exam and you get two hours and 10 minutes reading time to complete it. In section one, <coughs> it's called the unseen text section and it's worth 15 marks. And in this section, you'll be asked to read approximately three to four small texts and answer about five to six questions that relate to the following three aspects. Number one, how does each text convey aspects of discovery? As well as two, how the text conveys meaning through textual techniques and features? And three, to give an evaluation and synthesis about how well the text conveys an understanding about discovery. Now you should spend 40 minutes on this part of the paper, nothing more, nothing less. And the questions will range through a series of marks. So firstly, we have low mark questions, which are worth one to two marks. Next, we have mid-range mark questions, which will be worth between three to four marks. And the final question will always be worth a high range of marks between five, usually five or even six marks. Section two, the creative writing section. Again, it's worth 15 marks. And in this section, you'll be asked to write a original piece of creative writing. Now, most uh, years you'll be given a stimulus. This year you will be given a stimulus and it will be um, perhaps a quote or a picture or a statement that's related to discovery. Most students will create a short story or a narrative, but you can also create a monologue or a diary entry or another creative form. Some years they've actually given the form that you're required to write in, be it a, a diary entry or a short story. So just be aware that they can ask you to do that. Um, the aim of this section is to show your knowledge of discovery and its impact on a person. And you'll have to do this through a creative form rather than an essay form. Um, some of the things that you'll need to show will be the techniques and structures of the text form that you're writing in. So for example, if it's a short story, you'll need to show that you understand narrative structure, for example, orientation, complication, sequence of events, resolution, and you'll need to show that you're able to use language techniques creatively to impact the reader and the person that you're writing to. The final section is section three, and it's worth 15 marks again. And in this section, you'll be asked to write an extended piece of analytical writing on a single question. You'll need to show your knowledge of the prescribed text, which is Robert Frost's poetry for our class, and one or more related texts. The question will always be related to an aspect of discovery from the rubric, so it's really important to know the rubric well so that you're prepared for the question and are not surprised by it. You also need to demonstrate an understanding of organized analytical writing. So this means that you'll need to structure your essay, sorry, your answer in an essay form with an introduction, a body and conclusion, and to organize your paragraphs in a really clear and logical way. To access the top marks for this section, you need to show a wide and detailed knowledge of your prescribed texts and the ways that it uses techniques and features to communicate different aspects of discovery. This is a general overview of the exam. And in the following video, I will show you more about um, each of the sections, in particular, the unseen text section.